my eyes, let me Maing buntag sa tanan, welcome ang matag-usa para sa atong video worship service karong adlawa. Akong gihangyo ang tanan sa pagpanindog, alang sa pagsugod atong kantaon ang All Heavens Declare. Without beauty of the Lord 
ang Dios Espiritu ug kadtong magasimba kaniya magsimba diha sa Espiritu ug kamatuoran Juan 4:24 Gloria Patri Opening prayer, mag-ampo ta. Dalaygo nag may gudmao na mga Diyos, ikaw ang magbubuhat sa langit o sa yuta. Ikaw ang tag-iya sa tanang butang aning kalibutana. Bisan man ang among kinabuhi, ikaw gayod mo ay nag-umul ka na mo ginoo. Ikaw naghatag o gininhawa, o ikaw gayod ang tag-iya sa tanan ginoo. Dili magtukib ang imong pagkagamhanan. Lord God, nitak na sa kabuntagon. Kami nagapaubos tiya sa imong atubangan, Lord God. Ug diin bisan sa among pagkahuyang Lord kami naghangyo kanimo Lord God nga himo ang kaming takos ti sa among atubangan aron sa among pagsimba karong kabuntagon Lord God mahimo kini gining takos ti kanimo Lord God Lord pinagi sa imong balang espiritu nga may magapamuhat kanamo Ginoo Lord nga mahimo kami magmalampuson diya sa pagsimba o pagdaig sa imong ngalan lamang dalaygon ka sa walay katapusan dungog og himaya diya kanimo lamang ang tanan I pray in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior Amen Hymn of Praise number 40 O Lord my God Then sings my soul, my Savior, love to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior, love to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then through the blue. Bow in humble adoration, and 
dare proclaim, my God, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee, how great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee, how great Thou art, how great Responsive reading atong makita di sa page 50, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 14 to 18. Ako ang unang mubasa sa gagmay nga letra sa ikaduha nga stansa kamo. Busa pangandam kamo. Gamita ang kamatuoran ingon nga pakos. Ang pagkamatarong ingon nga salipod sa inyong dughan. Huwag ang pagkadasig sa pagsangyaw sa maing balita sa pakigdait, ingon nga inyong sapatos. Dada kanunay ang inyong taming nga mao ang inyong pagtuo. Kay pinaagi ni ini, makapalong ka mo sa tanang nagsika nga ipana ka ninyo sa yawa. Huwag ikalo ninyo ang kaluwasan, ingon nga panalipod sa ulo. Huwag gamita ang kulong sa Diyos nga bihata ka ninyo sa espiritu, ingon nga espada. Buhata kining tanan diha sa pag-ampo. Magpangayuyo ka mo kanunay pinagi sa espiritu. Tungod ni ini, pagbantay ka mo o lahotay gayod. Pag-ampo kanunay alang sa tipo, balaang katawahan sa Diyos. Amen. Affirmation of Faith by Credo sa mga Apostoles Atong Donganan Mito ako sa Diyos Amahan makagagahom sa ngatanan. Magbubuhat sa langit og sa yuta, og kang Heso Kristo nga iyang bugtong anak ginuo nato. Nga gipanamkon sa lalang sa Espiritu Santo, gianak ni Maria nga ulay, gisakit sa sugo ni Poncio Pilato, gilansang sa cross na matay o gilubong, nanaog sa mga lubnganan, og sa ikatulo kaadlaw na banhaw sa mga minatay. Ningsaka sa langit, og nagalingkod sa tuo sa Dios nga amahan, Makagagahom sa ngatanan. Gikan dito mubalik sa osab dinhi sa paghukom sa mga buhi o sa mga minatay. Mito ako sa Espiritu Santo, sa balaang kapunungan sa mga tanan, sa pakigambitay sa mga balaan, sa pasaylo sa mga sala, sa pagkabanhaw sa lawas, o sa kinabuhi nga walay katapusan, hinaot pa. Amen. Manglingkod palihog Hymn of Preparation number 230 sa Crosmo. Yeah. 
for worship by Pastor Timothy Kim. Our Father, who have created us and saved us from our sins, we come before your throne in worship in this time. Lord God, we want to praise your goodness through this worship. We want to proclaim how merciful you are because you are always good to us. First of all, you are our Savior, who saved us from our sins. We, being the descendants of Adam and Eve, were sinners who desired to do all things for our own selves. We confess that all the motivations of our thoughts and actions were centered on our own judgments but thank you for teaching us that we are created for your glory to do your will. You have made us turn back from our ways to your ways through your, through your word and your spirit. Remember this and repent before you about our sinfulness. Now, by your mercy, we rejoice in your forgiveness through Jesus Christ. We praise you, our God. We thank you. Because our salvation comes from you. We had no light in our life, but darkness. We did not even know that we needed help. We were dead in sin and hopeless. But your love is everlasting. Your covenant is sure. Before the creation of this world, you have chosen us to save us, and you have sent your only Son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. Then, you have guided the history to make us hear your gospel. And it is you who have grabbed us by your Holy Spirit and gave us the heart to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And now, you continue to dwell in us, to make us do your good works. So, our salvation is all your works. All goodness that we do now is therefore all from you. So, you deserve all glory. There is no other glory aside yours. All glory is yours. So, we worship you only. Please take our praise. Please accept this humble worship. Our God, we also remember your mercy and grace in our daily lives. Thank you for providing us timely rain and sunlight. Thank you for giving us the courage to overcome fears and evils in this world. Thank you for giving us strength to work. Thank you for giving us wisdom and knowledge to improve our situations. Thank you for giving us families, friends, and neighbors whom we are served by and who we can serve. Thank you for giving us understanding that even the difficulties you allowed us to experience are your goodness in making us closer and closer to you. Please continue to humble us so that we do not forget your blessings are overflowing in our lives and let us only rely on you and glorify you. Lord, help us to abandon ungodly traditions and habits. First, make us realize 
What habits and traditions are not according to your word? Please open our spiritual eyes, Lord. Then fill us with your power to overcome the temptations to overcome in those sinful traditions. Make us not lazy but diligent. Make us to hate sin. Ultimately, make us pray and sacrifice ourselves for our neighbors to let them also abandon from their sinfulness and turn back to true worship of you. Now we pray for the sermon by Pastor Nelster Gonzalez. We want to accept your will, which is taught through this sermon. Please open our hearts so that your word enters our system of thoughts, that we replicate your will in the thoughts and the actions. Let this sermon continue to change our lives more and more befitting to be your children. We thank you for listening to our prayer. Please continue to be with us always and in this worship. We only worship you and depend on you. We thank you and pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Scripture reading atong makita diya sa Mateo chapter 7 verse 13 to 27. Sumulod ka mo pinaagi sa masigpit nga pultahan. Kay luag ang pultahan ug lapad ang dalan nga nagapadulong sa kalaglagan ug daghan ang nagasulod ni ini. Apan masigpit ang pultahan ug mapiot ang dalan nga nagpadulong ngadto sa kinabuhi ug diutay lamang ang nakakita ni ini. Magbantay ka mo sa mga bakakong manalagna nga nagasulob ug sama sa karnero apan sa sulod nila mga lubo nga manunukob. Pinaagi sa ilang mga buhat, inyong mahibaloan sila. Dili sila makapupo og ubas gikan sa sapinit, ug dili usab ang igos gikan sa bunglayon. Ang tanan nga maayong kahoy mamunga og maayong bunga, apan ang tanan nga daotang kahoy mamunga og daotang bunga. Ang maayong kahoy dili makapamunga og daotang bunga, sama usab ang daotang kahoy dili makapamunga og maayong bunga. Ang tanang kahoy nga dili mamunga og maayong bunga pagaputlon og isugnod sa kalayo busa pinaagi sa ilang mga buhat inyong mahibaloan sila dili ang tanan nga nagaingon kanako ginuo ginuo ang makasulod sa gingharian sa mga langit kon dili kadto lamang ang nagabuhat sa kabubuton sa akong amahan nga anaa sa mga lalangit daghan ang moingon kanako ni adtong adlawa Wala ba kami managna pinaagi sa imungalan o pipila sa imungalan nagpalayas na mo ang mga demonyo o pinaagi sa imungalan nakabuhat kami o daghang katingalahan o onya ako magpamatuod kanila. Wala ako makaila kaninyo. Pahilayo kamugitan kanako kamu nga nagabuhat sa pagka masupilon. Busa bisan kinsa ang namati nining akong mga pulong ug nagabuhat kanila sama sila siya sa usa ka tawo nga mahait ug panghunahuna nga nagtukod sa iyang balay ibabaw sa bato ug miabot ang ulan ug mibaha ang mga suba mihapak usab ang mga hangin sa balay ug wala kini mapukan kay kini gitukod man sa bato ug ang tanan nga nagapamati sa akong pulong apan wala magbuhat kanila Sama siya sa usa ka tawo nga walay utok nga nagtukod sa iyang balay ibabaw sa balas. Unya miabot ang ulan ug mibaha ang mga suba ug mihuros ang hangin ug mihapak sa balay ug natumba ug ang pagkatumba dako kaayo. Amen. Hymn of Anthem number 108 Pagkabulahang Yeah. 
karon ato andamo ng ato nga singkasing og una-una sa pagpambinaw sa mensahe nga pagadadon ni Pastor Nelster Gonzales nga iya kining giuluhan og Choices of Life. Let us open our Bible in Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 to 27. In Matthew chapter 13 verse 27 So Jesus The Lord Jesus placed before us the three choices of life. So first, the narrow and wide gates. Next, tree and its fruit. It represents true and false teacher or false prophet. True and false prophet. Next, wise and foolish builders wise and foolish builders so first the two roads this is the road of destruction and road of salvation the two trees represent the true prophet and false prophet that the foundation two foundations represent poor foundation and firm foundation So the one who built his house on the rock and the one also built his house on the sand. Now, first, the two roads, let us examine. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 to 14, Jesus said, Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many enter through it. Verse 14, But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Now, and every person is in motion. We are all traveling somewhere. Okay? With each step, we are either being saved or lost. Ang mata ko sa katao, doon na siya yung kaugalingon na desisyon, pagpili, sa iyang kinabuhi. Og every single moment, sa at every somewhere, sa atong mga paglawig sa kalibutan. So, we think, some, sometimes we think, o sa man, kalaglagan, kaluwasan. No? So, wala tayo specific sa atong kinabuhi. Okay? Wala tayo specific. Dili kasi specific. The world speaks of many roads. Because the world speaks many roads. But Jesus said in the Bible that there are only two roads to choose. Now, there is a road of the many and the road of the few. So number one, the road of the many is broad. Ang lapad, or ang dalan paingon sa destruction, kalaglagan, sayon lapad. And there are many rooms of, many rooms of people or kinds of people Walk together. Daghang klase, kumplito. Ang nagalakaw nini nga dalan. Because broad, no? Sayon. Lapad. Sayon niya, lapad. <laughs> so there are so many people walk together. Like Parisi. Parisi. The Parisi boast himself. His uh, self-righteous, self-seeking pleasure. Or mga tao. O, oh, dahil imakita. O, oh, karun. Isi silang kinabuhi. Drinking, gambling, oh, it's very easy. Pagsubay sa broad, ngadalan. 
And take note, one who calls Christians, but carries no cross. Also, they are also representative of this broad law. That's in the Bible. And there are also many wrongs of this broad road sa mga tao nga talawan sa pagsulay. Coward. Foolish. Uneducated or educated doubters. O mga tao maduduhaon. Double-minded. Okay. Double-minded. Walk side by side. No, or sa high destruction, they walk the world, the road of destruction and the road of salvation sometimes. So walk side by side. All who journey on the broad road will come to its destination. What is that? What destination? Peace, happiness, life. The answer is no. The end of the broad road is destruction. O sa destination? Kalinaw, kalipay. Kinabuhi, the end of, this, of their lives. Once man, no, this, the end of the broad road is destruction. Kalaglagan, in Cebuan, kalaglagan, destruction, destruction of honesty and character, destruction of the body of soul, kalaglagan sa atong kalag, lawas o kalag, destruction of hope and life, destruction in every way. Or eternal separation from God, wala katapusan ng pagkahimulag sa Dios. Eternal torment from the company in the company of Satan and all who troubled the broad road. Now, the other way is the road of the few. The other way is the road of the few. This is the road of salvation. Someone could ask, why did God make this gate to hell wide? Siguro makapangutan na tanga ng gihimo sa Dios. Ang dalan pa ingon sa kalaglagan lapad sa yon. So we, we think we, somebody, we think I, I think that God makaingon ta siguro unfair ang Ginoo. No, dili. Ha? Huh? Wouldn't it have been more fair as the, if they were the same way? No, but let's go back to the beginning in the Garden of Eden. The road to fellowship with God was wide. Kung atong ibalik sa sinugdanan Mas ang pag pag ang pag pag fellowship sa Ginoo ang paghiusa sa Ginoo sa yon. Uh, uh, dako kayo kay gayon. In the garden of Eden the road the road to fellowship with God was wide. Adam and Eve could eat the fruit of almost every tree. The road to destruction was narrow. And only one tree was wrong. Therefore, now I conclude. Therefore, it was not God who made the gate Naro. No? Ang atong sala or sense have narrow, narrow the entrance. Ang atong sala mo hinungdan na may nakapasigpit sa dala. Or the pride pops up and makes it hard for our pride and makes it hard for us to pass through the entrance. Ang atong sala o atong garbo mo'y nakahimong rason. Nga may, may, may nakahatag o kalisod sa pagsubay. Niningadala. Nevertheless, the narrow gate is wide enough. No, ayaw paghuno na nga kini gamay or dako, dili insakto, insakto. Because this is the weight of the, the, of the shoulders of our Lord Jesus Christ. Nevertheless, it is as wide as the shoulders of Jesus Christ. Kining sigpit Ngaganghaan, insakto ang gilap doon because kini siya nga wade, this is the wade. Mo kini gilap doon sa abaga sa atong manunubos ng mga kini siya Kristo. He is the gate and the road. John chapter 10. John chapter 10 verse 7. Okay. John chapter 10 verse 7. Therefore Jesus said again, I tell you the truth. I am the gate for the sheep. Ako magsulti kanyo sa kamaturan. Ako ang pultahan o ganghaan sa mga karnero. John 14.6 Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. 
no one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus answered, Si Jesus bitubag ako ang dalan kamatuuran o ang kinabuhi. Ako ang dalan kamatuuran o ang kinabuhi. Walay makaatos amahan kung dili muagi kang Jesus. We enter through the narrow gate when humbly repent. As we humble ourselves and we ask repentance, we need to repent of our sins and we can enter through the narrow gate. We become as a child and receive Jesus Christ as our Savior. Mahimutan niyang anak kung ato siyang dawaton nga siya ang atong manluluas. Then, at the time, they, they walk, we walk the narrow road with Him. We learn to deny our fleshly desires and learn, learn to serve Jesus Christ. The narrow road leads to life. Okay, take note. Write down. The narrow road leads to life. The mind becomes allied to truth. The heart, kasing-kasing, the heart lives with healthy desires. The conscience, ang atong konsensya, kinasuluran mga kasunod, the conscience lives in peace and the souls enjoy the life of communion with God. And at the end of the road, there is eternal life in God's presence. This is the good news. At sa tumoy ni ni, o sa katapusan ni ni nga, sigpit gadalan mga kigsunan, dun ay kinabuhi. Eternal life. Kalinaw, sa una-una, kasing-kasing, limpyo nga kasing-kasing, healthy desires, konsensya, kahimuot sa atong kalag, that, we have, that our souls have joyful communion with God. Ganahan kang musimba because our, our, our souls have communion with God. No? Gusto kang mo-resolve mo kanunin sa presensya sa kito. Tugod kay we have joy. Our souls have always enjoy of, our, of the communion with God. At the end, there is eternal life in God's presence. Now, next. Trace. Doon ay duha kakahoy na representar ka sa true prophet and false prophet or true teacher and false teacher. The greatest danger of Christians' faith comes from inside the church. Persecutions come from outside the church. By contrast, false teaching, false prophet within has always hurt the Christian. So, careful. There are so many groups. Ah, daghang mga grupo nagdala po sila dala na Christian. Na sila yung mga nagtawag po sila mga Kristuhado. But their teaching, ah, ang ilang tudlo always hurt kanunay nakapasakit, nakapadaot sa kalag sa mga tao. They always hurt the souls of the people. St. Augustine says of his confession before, huh? wrong theology forms idolatry. Not biblical theology, not biblical teaching forms idolatry. Therefore, on the journey to heaven, we must discern between true and false teacher, true prophet, or what I mean, true prophet and false prophet, in Matthew chapter 7, verse 15 to 16, what's out for false prophets? They came to you in sheep's clothing, but in inwardly they are ferocious wolves. But their fruit, you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from torn buses or figs from thistles? Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. So, Ani, careful. We can discern false prophet. Comes in sheep's clothing. Okay, tanawa. Comes in sheep's clothing. That's they pretend to be Christians. So, nagpa-pretend sila ng Kristuhanon. They wear church clothes. Okay, church clothes. Daghan ka nun. 
Corbata apa pakai dia? Saya berpos. Oh, grabe, no? Pakai tak ni mo? They are boldest to speak the word of God. Isuk muhalis semua pulung sa Dios. But the problem, they distort the truth, distort or twist the truth. Huh? Ang dakong problema, ilang gitu is ang kamatoran, ilang giliso distort, ilang gilubag ang kamatoran. First Timothy chapter one verse seven. Okay, write down this verse. First Timothy chapter one verse seven. Second Corinthians chapter eleven. First Peter chapter two and Jude. Jude. Dan awang mga status or mga kinayahan sa false prophet. Watch out, Apostle Paul. Acts chapter twenty. What is the reminder of Apostle Paul? Acts chapter twenty. Verse 29 to 30. I know that after I leave, savage wolves will come in among you and will not spare the flock. Verse 30, even from your own number, men will arise and distort the truth in order to draw away disciples after them. Abisan si Apostle Pablo, isa maatod pa niya, walay sa iluan, among yo, walay sa iluan, tanan. Ferocious wolves, mangtas nga lobo, mudool sa inyo ha. O ang problema, ilahang lisoon ang ibanghilyo. They distort the gospel. Twist the gospel. Likewise, Paul warned in Ephesians and also to us this present day. Notice that Jesus relates fruit to the heart. In other words, we discern true and false teachers by the inner fruit of their character. So, ano lang, no? Makabit makadiscern ta. If we are not totally, we know, may nang klase sa prophet, or siya ang religious leader so observe and let us observe the inner character or their heart Galatians chapter 5 Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 to 23 but the fruit of the spirit is love joy, peace Patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. So, ano na lang? By the knowledge of God, according to the Bible, so we can discern the false prophet by their inner character. Notice what Jesus relates to our lives. Therefore, the only sure we know a false teacher or false prophet is by fruit of his character if we cannot know a person well enough to see inner fruit we should not follow him we should not follow him persecutions inside persecutions outside but the most dangerous persecution, false prophet, false teaching. Because their teaching always hurt, give hurt to the Christians or to the people. Next. There are two foundations. Okay. Do you heard me? There are two foundations. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 26. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet 
it did not fail or it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. Verse 26, but everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great grass. Now, Jesus was a, a carpenter. Jesus was a carpenter. He knew the importance of building on a good foundation. Even in a big cities today, some buildings collapse, collapse because of poor foundations. Now, in the Bible, there are two builders, uh, two builders, wise builders and foolish builders. The wise builders built his house upon the rock, on the rock, but the, the foolish builders built his house on the sun, on the sun. Now, matur pa sa message, only the house with a firm foundation can survive the storms. Or only the life, only the life with a firm foundation is safe. Sun is good, okay. Ang balas maayo, not, not good. The sun is good to build. Because on every building that we want to build, we need sun. Because how can we give, go, make good foundation or strong foundation? If we, wale sun, wale balas. If wale balas. Huh? But, wa magpasabot, nga ato ta magtukod sa balas. But the foolish builder built his house on the rock, on, 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 the, on the sun. Okay, sorry. The foolish builders built his house on the sun. But sun is good for build, building. Huh? Sun is good for build. But don't build your house on the sun. Now, go with us in the Bible. Hearing the Bible. Okay, what is firm foundation? Hearing the Bible. First reading, hearing, and obeying. So while we read, we need to he heard also. And we need to obey. Reading the Bible. Okay. Uh, Joshua. Joshua chapter 1. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night. So that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. In other translation, be sure that you always read the book of the law or the, the Bible. Be sure that we are always read. We always read the Bible. In the AB version, be careful always to read the Bible. Do not let this book of the law depart from our eyes. And this is the message, meditate day and night. So, hearing the Bible first. Next, reading and doing or obeying. Jesus said, a person must hear what the Bible says. Jesus said, a person must hear what the Bible says. Hear, pamati. Ang tao kinahanglang mamati on sa gisulti sa Biblia. Jesus said. The Lord Jesus said, person must hear what the Bible says. It's amazing that people believe the Bible is the word of God, yet don't read it. This is amazing. I surprised. Preacher or pastor, some leaders, they surprised that there are so many people, yes, if they believe the Bible, but they do not want to heard or to read or to obey the Bible. If you believe, so you must heard, you must read, and you must obey the Bible. Now, reading the Bible, hearing, reading, next, doing the Bible. 
James 1. Tanaw ba ang James? James chapter 1 verse 22. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Ayaw sige. Basa sa not only you read the Bible but don't obey because we deceive only ourselves. Ah sa dihang kita magbasa sa pulong sa Ginoo, atong paminawon labaw sa tanan atong sundon. Jesus said a person must do, do what the Bible says. Scripture helps us only when we obey it. Ang kasulatan, makahatag lang kini o tabang ka na ito. Sa dihang atong sundod, the word of God work out sa atong kasing-kasing, sa atong kinabuhi, sa dihang mo obey. This is the, 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 the wise builders. Wise builders. Wise builder. Reading, he loved to read the Bible, hearing, and obeying. So, makalihok ang gahong sa Diyos at sa dihang atong sundon ang iyang pulong. The scripture, ang kasulatan, help us only when we obey it. A person could memorize the Bible and still not be a Christian. So, every single person can memorize the Bible. So, Pwede. Matag-usa. Pwede ta makamemorize Bible from Genesis to Revelation. But, I tell you the truth according to the Bible, pwede kang dili sa may mong Kristuhanon. Sa diyang ego lang kang musunod, ah, sa, sa diyang ego lang kang mubasa, mamati, apan dili kang musunod. Because there are so many word of Jesus Christ in the Bible na din iyang gisulti sa matag-usa na kinalang atong sundon. Especially regard concerning of our salvation. Even in the book of Matthew chapter 28, Jesus said to his disciples, Go therefore, and make, go therefore into the world, and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And surely I am with you, with you always, even until to the very end of the earth. Okay, this is the word of God. John 3.16, For God so loved the world, and He gave His one and only Son, and those who ever believes in Him should not perish, but have an eternal life. So how can this Word of God work out in our lives if we do not obey the Word of God? More than 2,000 years ago, the God of heaven and earth sent His one and only Son, Jesus Christ, full of grace and truth, Ah, aron pagluwas sa iyang mga katawhan. But how can work this word of God, the scripture in our lives, kung only hearing, reading, no obeying, no, this, kung nino, 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 complete. This, this is the wise builder. Now, just as surely, all that will be God's word, All that hobi God's word are saved. Tinood God, mga kagsunan. Tanan nga nagsunod sa pulong sa Diyos. Safety. Because the only safety of our lives, only in the hands of the Lord. We can find our safety place completely, our eternal salvation, only in the hands of God. Diyan lang sa kamot sa Diyos. Now, I conclude. Therefore, in the, in the journey to heaven, we need to choose only one to make sure and safe of our eternal salvation. Sa atong paglabigar, atong pagbiyahe pa yung salangit, mga kaisunan, magpili ka o salang kapagpili, arong paghimong siguro o safety sa atong eternal na kaluwasan. One, first, road of sa salvation. This is, the na the, this is the narrow road, sigpit na dalan. This is the road to heaven. This road of Jesus Christ. This is the road we want to choose. Do you hear me? This is the road we want to choose. We decide to choose. This is the road of Jesus Christ, the road of salvation, the road to heaven, the road of the few. This is we want. To, this is now we choose. Because this is the, 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 the road of Jesus Christ, the eternal, at the end of this road, this is eternal life.
Now this is next true teacher or true prophet. We choose to follow or to obey the teaching of the true teacher, true preacher, true biblical teacher. Not extreme. Biblia lang. Only Jesus Christ. We can find our salvation. If, they, they, if some preacher preach outside of the Bible, don't obey. But preacher, teacher, pastor, prophet, wag kung sabi mga leaders, spiritual leaders, they teach according to the Bible. So we must obey because this is the word of God. All scripture is God's breath. And it is useful for teaching every Correcting and training of all righteousness. Last, hearing, reading, and obeying the Bible. This is we chose. Bible is the firm. Obeying the Bible, hearing the Bible, reading the Bible is the firm foundation of security. May the God of heaven and our earth bless us from now on to eternity. Ampo ta. Akong gihangyo sa pagsunod lang sa mubo lang ang pagampo. Ginoong Hesus, salamat kaayo. Sa imong paghatag kana kong kahigayunan. Sa makadungog sa imong pulong. Og karon ako mipili sa pagsulod sa sigpit nga dalan. The road to salvation that I follow ako musunod kanimo Lord. Sa sigpit nga ganghaan, sa sigpit nga dalan, that this we believe, Lord, I believe, nga din dunay eternal life, salvation, safe and secure ang akong kinabuhi. Sa ding ako musulog ka nimo. Salamat kay Lord. Now, ako may pili, usa lang kapag pili, sa pagpamati, sa tinuod yun, gapulo ni mo, Lord, biblical, in Jesus Christ name. Salamat kay ginoo. O ako kang dipaslamatan, that you written my name in the palms of your hands. You written my names in the book of life in heaven. Salamat kining Jesus sa imong gugma. Imong gihatag kanako. Jesus Christ name. Now only I pray, Heavenly Father, the Almighty God, once again we thankful to you for your for this moment. Salamat kay Lord for your message today. Your word always work out in our lives. The Ligon ka bless this church, bless this congregation. Salamat Lord, you cover them with your precious blood. Especially Lord, there are so many trials sometimes, you know, mga hagit sa among pagtuo, but we are more than can keror. Tungod kay ikaw O Lord ang among kauban sa tanang panahon. Ginoo ako nagampo ang imong pulong karon motuhop sa imong samtang usa sa among kasing-kasing nga kini mahimong enlighten sa among spiritual nga di makahatag kini dugang giya sa pagsunod sa pagpangalagad kanimo while kami malaumon sa imong pagbalik. Amo kang gipasidunggan gipasalamatan and all the glory, honor and adoration will bring back to you. Only to your name Jesus Christ our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Closing hymn number 246 Nagasalig ko. Nagasali ko sa saan ni Jesus Tay kong ko siya hangto sa kahangturan Akong kinabuhi kiharian niya Pusa sa niya nagsali ko Nagasali Ang sagsagino gisali Nagasalig ko sa saan ni Jesus Bisang ulgaon ako sa kalisod Ang kahat lugo kapul na mahanaw Huwag sa saan niya nagsalig ko Nagasalig Ang sasagino isaligan ko Ni Cristo, kay sa gugma niya na hidugtong ako. Kung may kadaugan ko matagalaw, kung sa saan niya nagsali ko, nagasali ang sas.
sa ginoong isalidan ko na nasali ang sanya kong disaligan nagasali ko sa sanya ni Cristo kay kinihala kayo'y pakapukan sundon ko ang mando sa Espiritu Kung sa saat niya nagsali ko Nagasali Ang saat sa ginoog isalitan ko Nagasali Ang saat niya akong isalitan Akong gihangyo ang tanan sa pagpanindog Closing prayer by the Song of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in Offering Prayer and Benediction by Rev. Nelson Munoz Amen ang mga Diyos nga nasa langit, halamat sa impulong amili nga dugo, sa ngalan lamang ni Maginus Kristo, kay ikaw lang ang mangluluwas ginoon sa tanan. Padayin kami magduol, magpasalamat ka nimo. Sa iluwa kami, limpilayo kami sa kadautan, kasalaanan, kaugawan, tanang sidinti, tanang sakitan na makamatay. Ano na yan doon sa imbagbalik, maguban na tagpuno, buo ka sa imong balaang Espiritu Santo, sa tanang mga katawan, sa ibong kalibutan, tanang leaders, sa ibong kalibutan. Huwag tanan na mo mga kaigsuunan, tanan na mo mga silinganan, tanang mga bata, tanang mga batanon, huwag tanang mga hamtong, huwag ka na mong tanan. Gisaligan, gipasalamatan ka, gikan, huwag para kanimo ang tanan. Ang mga namong adios nga nasa langit, alamat sa impulong, amili nga dugo, ngalan mo ginus Kristo, malipay, mahimuot ka sa among tithes and offering, imo kining dawaton. Amo kining giampo gi pasalamatan sa ngalan lamang nimo Ginoong Kristo kay ikaw lang ang mangluluwas Ginoo sa tanan. Ang grasya sa atong Ginoong Kristo ug ang gugma sa atong amahan nga Dios ug ang pagiusa sa balaang Espiritu Santo, ang pagbantay, ang panalangin, ang kalinaw ug ang kalipay mabato na natong tanan. Atong ibutang atong tuong nga kamot sa atong nughan, atong nunganan. Start. Akong ginoong Heso Kristo na matay sa cross para pagpasaylo sa akong sala. O ginoong Kristo Hesus na banhaw para sa akong kinabuhi nga walay katapusan. Amen. Palihog manglingkot para sa atong Bible study.